Well, what a surprise. This evening, we are filming the Hotpoint 9530A Electronic 1000 Plus washing machine on the channel again, because she's soon to go into storage. So, keep yourselves tuned in, watch in HD, because you are watching Florence Ballad A3060, the channel made in loving memory of the original Supreme Florence Ballad and Hoover's first 1100 RPM washing machine, the A3060 Electronic 1100. Well guys, you must be thinking, didn't you say though, Brandon, you weren't filming the machine again? Well I was wrong, gave into a bit of temptation here. Couldn't resist filming the machine again. Now with the arrival of me getting my storage unit, of course I'm slowly moving the appliances in there. I've already moved three of my Hoover Floor Care products in there. Well, the Hoover Floor Care appliances, got the Hoover Dirt Searcher in there, the Broken Junior U1104 and the 1952 Floor Polisher. Uh, moving the two Dysons in this week, the DC-04 and the DC-01 Distill, and uh, then I'm going to start moving the washing machines in there. Uh, of course, because I don't drive at the moment, I'm going to be getting a removals van to take it. Uh, and I've decided that although this machine, the A3060, is not fully functional at the moment, to hell with it, I'm just putting that machine in storage. Because um, I'm still waiting for the thermostat and a new thermostat seal and all. And sod's law, what happens? The bloody solenoid goes on the machine. The hot water solenoid is basically, might as well, I need to switch the hot water on. Um, oh no, it is on, it is on, sorry. <coughs> when the hot water is going to the machine, it's dripping in the machine, very slowly. I came home yesterday to find the kitchen, basically the whole area there was flooded with water because I left the door open on the machine. So it's letting hot water into the machine without me, re without, it shouldn't be doing that obviously. So I've disconnected the machines from the YP so there won't be any wash races between these two machines at the moment. Um, now I do have a few machines that I am getting and of course as I've told you guys I am not letting anyone know what they are <clears throat> if you will see them the day they arrive on Instagram but on this channel you're not going to know until you see the video but they are vintage of course and most of my machines are going to be hot and cold fill unless they're a Miele. Um then of course some of most of them are cold fill only so we will be having vintage wash races uh, soon on this channel but anyway, the 9530 is going to be going into storage as well. On the day the A3060 goes, I'm taking the 9530 as well. Because it was the first machine I wanted to go into storage. She's put up with a lot, this machine. She's, she's the daily driver in this house now because the Miele's out of use. You're, so guys can stop asking me where the Miele is. There she is there. You're sitting on her. Everyone's asking where, the, where Millie is, so she's sat behind. Uh, then I'll push the Miele back into the spot for the meantime when we can have a machine. I'm going to take the Creda dryer out and as well as all the spin dryers, they're all going into storage. It's apart from the Creda which is going to be sat out there um, for any machines I have that are slow spin. You know, obviously getting a hot point, they're 800 etc. So this is one of the last, I think we're going to have three more, including this video, there's three videos. We're going to have one today. Then I'm going to, the next one is going to be in all cycles and options, because I've been meaning to do that on that machine. It's basically just telling you all the programs and what all the options do. Very basic machine of options, you know, hot points are very easy with their options. And then we will do the very last wash of the machine in the house. Now, she's not going forever, so I don't want you guys thinking that. Same with the A3060. The A3060 is just being put in semi-retirement semi because of how delicate that machine is. Same with the hot point. I recently replaced the top seal on the front. Um, and she's working like a champ. You know, most of my collection is going to be hot point because they're easier to work on than Hoover and they're easier to maintain. Um, but it doesn't mean she's gone forever. As I said, when I move to America, so she's all being put in plan for next year. I'm moving on to, a, I'm looking to move on to another job now, which can get me a transfer over there. So in the meantime, I'm building the collection up, um, ticking machines off the list and whatnot. She will come back. So especially once I drive, I can drive a back home, drive all the machines to and from this house without having to worry. Um, yeah. So this evening, which I should realise I haven't taken my bathrobe off because we're going to throw my bathrobe in the machine. There you are. Wash my Superman bathrobe and some towels. 
Uh, I was going to do it on program one, 85 degrees Celsius white cotton, but I can't, I don't think it's a good idea to put my bathrobe on an 85 wash. I have put the bathrobe on a 60. So I thought it'd be a bit of a fun load, especially with the bathrobe. We all know what hot points are going to be like. And I thought, suitable for the video, we'll bring out the Suavitel and Tide HE again. Uh, and I'm going to be doing this in the machine for a while, using that detergent, because I want the machine to smell American. So when I take them to America, they smell like America detergent. <laughs> Bit of a thing. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to ramble on for too long. I thought I'd set a nice warm mood with the light. So you can sit on the meter now, and I can sit up here, and better. But I will have the machine in front. I will have the camera in front of the machine again. So without further ado, I'm going to get loading my wonderful machine up. She is my first automatic collection piece, as you know. She's the first vintage. She's my first own machine that came into this house. And she's been serving sterling service ever since. You have to excuse how messy my hair is. And that's just the boiler if you hear that. She recently just washed, washed my work uniform, so that's why it's looking a bit uh, like wet in there. But this is her original spot. As you notice, know, they've been moved around. You'll see all the machines moving around in this house. They're never gonna have uh, a permanent spot really. That's what. That's why I'm, I don't plumb them in permanently because they're not meant to be in here. These towels cleaned up the flood that the A3060 did. And I found these vintage wash towels at the British Heart Foundation. So the washcloths, might have washed them with American detergent. Okay. That didn't want to close. So at least with this I can just, so of course, remember the famous Tide, Tide detergent. Smells amazing. Really, I think for this one, I've never done a full scoop in this machine because I'm normally scared to put a lot of detergent in this machine. So just for this one, I'm going to be naughty and I'm going to do a full scoop. It's the first time you'll ever see me use that much. I was going to do a pre-wash, but first time you'll ever see me use a full scoop in this machine. Let's see how she handles it, yeah. Oh, that's more like it. I've never used that much in there. And of course, the Suavitel conditioner. This reminds me of that store I went to. What's it? Family Dollar. That was it. Family Dollar. In Denton, Texas. This year when we go to America, I'm going to load my, set, my, load my suitcase with detergents. Full cap of that in there. Wonderful. Haven't had a chance to put this in the A3060 yet, but oh well. Solenoid valve though isn't a problem, I'm not going to get a new one for it, I'll just shut the water off every time I don't use the machine. Right, so setting the program, of course, for this one, program 2, 60 degrees Celsius, colour fast cotton, and with that, no options, let's go. I think you get a better view of it from up here actually. There won't, I don't think there'll be any steam coming out of the drawer. We'll see. You know, our hot water pressure isn't the best over it. That's why I'm not too sure if I can do a wash race because the water pressure is going to be so weak. It's a shame though. <clears throat> I really do miss using the A3060. I've hardly used that machine at all and hardly filmed it as well. To let you know guys, actually there is a video of the A3060 in the vaults, a full wash cycle of it doing its pre when I prepared it. But it started tripping the electric so I had to cut it off. So that will be in the vaults in a, about a year's time or so. Can't see the steam coming out of the drawer. But you know what, I absolutely love this machine. I'll tell you one thing though about my collection, I'll let you reveal. There, there is not going to be a day when there isn't a GEC hot point in this kitchen. There, it's going to consist mainly of 9.5 series machines. I'm trying to get one machine of each range. So I'm trying to get one from the replacement April 1988 range. Maybe a 9.534 will be good of that. Uh, trying to get one from the new... I, want, I need new generations though. I need some new generations in this collection. A 95622 or something. Microtronic. 
95450, something like that will do good. Well, the 95470 is the one that I want, but so I'll find that. Okay, here we go. Ready? Go. Mainly pink in there as well. <laughs> pink, red and blue in there really, is it just something? I don't mind if that towel ends up going pink. I don't, this, these towels are all, all mine they are. I mainly, they are there mainly just to do washing with. And to clean up stuff. Oh, she's throwing the lime scale tablet on the door. I see it just down there. She's getting foamy though. This would be the most amount of detergent this machine has ever taken in, so it really is going to be a good thing to see what she does. Look at that though. <clears throat> okay, I lied, there's actually two tea towels that are mum's in there. Well, one. One tea towel that's mum's. Just the white one you see. I'll shut up so you can hear the sound of that machine. Suds are going down to be honest. There we are, we're filled. We feel how hot that door is. It's about 35, 40 or so. That's what they normally fill up. Twang. I think she's heating already actually. But I haven't primed the hot water. I don't normally prime it really. I like to let the element of the machine work itself. No, it's just a timer. Nothing beat, nothing. There is no washing machine motor more like, more sig like signature sound than the GEC motor of a hot point machine. Because even the Hoover has got like, when it spins, it, but not when it's tumbling, there's only one machine that would make that type of sound. I know Credo and Electro do it, but they just copy hot point. They built my whole point. I can smell that tide from here. Now we're on heating. We're on the heating stage now. This heating stage will be pretty much quite short because uh, the water doesn't obviously need to heat up that much. The water already entered the machine at about 40 degrees. The machine's presumably just, just gone 50 there on that one. You can see it obviously falls a lot more. Probably hear the element. 
we were doing an 85 degree wash, it sounded like a huge kettle boiling. The elements are so powerful on these machines. But it really, I mean, I, when I took the machine apart and took the drum front plate out to change the seal, um, the heating element was exactly the same condition as I first got the machine. So it really shows, the whole, not only the hot water, but the lime scale tablets that I've been using and the hot washes that I've been using this machine on have really helped. Whereas the A36 you pretty much has none, because obviously that came from Scotland. We won't get steam coming out of the drawer on this really, because uh, it's a 60. Can't wait to get new machines. There's a lot more on this channel. You know, like, do you remember last year, guys, when it was this time last year? I, I went through a stage of pretty much being inactive on YouTube because I said I had not much to film, really. You know, I wasn't doing much of the hot point at all and I was at work and whatnot. But I'm making sure this year we've got loads to film. And I want to keep my views going. As I said, I want to go to America and be celebrating 2,000 subscribers. And I'm already at about 1,710 now, I think I'm or something. I'm quite shocked that in I've gained 700 subscribers in like just over six months. I mean, you know, I know the A36 who would get my subscribers going up, but it's not bloody machine. It's just like an old woman. She don't want to work. She don't want to do anything. We will. I'm going to definitely do a spin race though between all three machines. We'll do like Miele versus Mielers. There's going to be so many different things on this channel. So the machine has now reached 60. That really took absolutely no time at all. A lot of, a lot of foam accumulating because of oxygen, but look how quickly it goes down. The main subtle lock we'll get will be for my bathroom, really. Bonk. I love when it does that. <laughs> I'm wondering if we're going to get any walking on balance spins on this. As I say, she normally behaves on camera and then off camera, and then it goes absolutely crazy. Love the sound of the springs. <laughs> That's, that's proper good wash action there though. Just thrashes it about. At least you definitely know you definitely know by seeing that that your clothes are getting clean. Short or tumble, she's gonna advance. No, timer reset. So like every four tumbles the timer resets it. The timer's on the 9 5 reset themselves. We'll go on to the heat retaining stage in a second. So basically heat back up the 60. We are definitely going to be getting <coughs> a lot of uh, a lot of washer dryers in this collection though. That'd be really fun to film washer dryers in this. <coughs> and then don't forget, you know, we still keep the machines going with what comes into British Heart Foundation. I love I love not knowing what's in. Oh, I didn't tell you guys something about this machine as well. I also fitted a brand new uh, cabinet trim. Courteous of Chris, the laundry centre, sent me a brand new one. I'll uh, just grab something for you quickly. This here is the old trim. As you said, you remember it used to be broken there and it had the chip out of the side of it and everything. That just proves how brittle the plastics are. Yeah, that was it. Had the broken bit there. Okay. I literally took that off and it snapped in my hand. That shows how brittle the plastics are on these machines. They are heat retaining stage. But yeah, this machine has fully got its full trims and full every, yeah. Just apart from the little nick out of the fascia on the side. But, oh, and not to mention, when I took it apart the other day, uh, the drawer completely snapped in my hand. The fr whole front of it came off, but it's been super glued back. Um, 
That's the only thing that I don't like about the 95 series, is how brittle the plastics are on them. Uh, but as I said, you handle them with care, they won't break on you. That's what I do, I make sure I handle them with care. So we're heating back up to 60 now. There we go, distribution drain, I timed that well. See, we'll judge why this distribution box can happen. Or oh, the kitchen's going to smell American. Oh, it's smoothly balanced. And then sometimes a balanced first distribute always means an unbalanced spin. And the interlock buzzing there as well. Oh, it's smelling American. <laughs> Look at that suds there. This is going to be a funny spin, this will be. It would be cool if they did spin after the wash, but then again it does, I've noticed that my washing does come out a hell of a lot less creased in this than it does in the meter. Oh, you don't get the chugging, sadly. First rinse, which is the very short first rinse, more or less. Literally, what, once the machine reaches full level, it basically does three tumbles, like left, uh, anti clockwise, clockwise, and anti clockwise, then it's straight into distribution. See the level already reaching the bottom there. the idea she fills and tumbles together. <coughs> there you are. There'll be three tum oh, okay, left and then right and then left. <coughs> I recall this is one whole thing actually. So you can you can actually see what I mean by that. I'm intrigued and kind of nervous as to what the spin's gonna be like. Pour a glass of Coca Cola Cherry in the meantime. Lime. Here we go, let's see. Oh. The first intermediate spin. It's definitely going to be a salt spot though. Barbara, play up for once on camera, come on. Uh oh. Oh dear lord. Yeah, there we go. No. Oh Christ. Yeah. Oh bloody hell. <laughs> oh my god, that's unbalanced. Yeah. There you go, guys. 
milestone 2000 miles, you got your wish. She's showing off the camera now. Oh my god. I don't think it'll move though, will it? I don't know. Watch the sun's block as well. Interlock buzz. Wow. Crikey. Oh, it's like, oh my god, it's like white in there. I know she's a 95 series, she'll deal with it well. The machine was like trying not to move there, literally. That's crazy. The last time we used Tide in this is when we did the one year anniversary of me having Still unbalanced. Still missing the hole. Yeah, you missed the whole shaking on that machine. <laughs> Grab my Coca Cola. Seems safely out of the way. That's it now. eventful that was. We are going to get one violent spin on this line and see it happening. Here we go again. Look at how, the, how it handles it though. And you know modern machines cut out all the time. Look at that, a machine can spin through it. But this is the floor I don't like. It doesn't allow enough time for it to pump out. Oh, Jesus Christ, I hate when it does that. Uh oh. Uh, probably because the water's still warm as well. Second rinse. Uh, second rinse. Look at that. Look how she's brought the suds down. Then again, no, 9.5 series hot points are very deceiving. They look balanced and they turn out to be a hell of a lot of balance.
sort of sounds unbalanced, but I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. Let's see. He's got a bit of a stick. When will that bloody machine work? May have to get it checked over by another collector if I can. without with the slow spins that's actually a good sunset. I was wondering if I was going to have to do five rinses instead of four. Oh. Yeah, I was going to 
lowering it. Maybe if I just done the towels on their own or the bathrobe on their own. Oh well, there is going to be one more wash video of this machine. I don't know what we'll do. Ah, oh, I know what we can wash in that machine. How about I wash that throw? Yeah, that throw will be fun to wash. All right, maybe Thursday. Maybe Thursday then I'll get that. Yeah, that will be fun to wash that. I didn't have a heavy soaker throw I could do in that machine though. Like we used to have. Doesn't want to get balanced. I wonder if all my machines work well. The A3060 is just, that machine just naughty anyway. It tries to escape like all the time. Suavatel. Now he really will smell American. Final rinse. <clears throat> Lovely Suavatel in there. I can actually smell it to be honest. I wonder what the final spin's going to be like. Friggin' smooth. But it's so true though. <laughs> Is of course slightly longer than the other rinses. I think it's I think it's longer by about four tumbles, which is about one minute. Goodness sake! Oh, give us a violent spin for once. Oh, I should be wishing the machine to do it, but you know, it's, it's the fun of the nine five. Hang on. That that should be it. Yeah, final spin. What's going to happen? Are we going to? Hang on, something. Oh, she doesn't want to, does she? Final spin is always smooth. I would be able to stop the machine, but I normally do this machine. What's that in the back? Oh, the... Oh, that's the uh, Superman. Well, <laughs> he doesn't want to do anything for me. That's going to be smooth. But yeah, if I did this load off camera and wasn't filming it, there'd be plenty of violence there. Look at that, it's watery now, it's hot. Cool. I love how the seal like pushes itself forward. Oh well, I'm 
some splashes on there anyway. Even I do live videos of this machine, it doesn't even do anything. So I could wash that bed, that throw that I put on the front of my bed. Wash that throw though, it might like, stain that throw and see if the machine can get it. I can't get everything smelling in Europe. It's not our last video, guys, we've got two more. Maybe maybe tomorrow I'll do uh, all, cycle, uh, all cycles and options video, an overview, and then we'll do the Thursday one. Thursday will be the, probably the final solo video of this one. I don't know why I say solo. Oh no, it's because when I do wash races then my life side is not working again. It's a nice filming this machine man. <laughs> Fuck. I hate when it does that. You know, yesterday, right, I, I, I was upstairs doing my hair and I heard the machine like the water come out. So I came downstairs, the kitchen started spinning. I got into the kitchen and the machine went to spin. I ran out of this kitchen like, like, I, was a, like I was a four year old. It reminded me of the same experience I had with one when I was little. What started off my fear of these machines. Okay, here we go. Famous hot point spin. Kind of funny. Red, white, blue to America. Though, it is nice when we get a stable spin. That, yeah, hardly any vibration whatsoever. Just a tiny bit, you can see it maybe. I don't know if you can see it. There is a little bit. spin dryer and then and then we'll put it in the tumble dryer and have nice fluffy towels and I don't know if you can see it up there guys. It is vibrating. Pretty damn stable though. I love though just spinning in a spot happily. Very nice sound though, hot points have. Well built though, well built machines. Very built to last. Down as well. 
bath will be nice and dry for tomorrow. See, is everything stuck to the side? Oh yes, it is. That's the power of a hot point. Of course, what I do after every load, of course you see you get some remaining in there, so just set that out. It's the thing that happened with all the nine, all the one eight series. It's got to quickly rinse it out because because some remains in the siphon tube. The Hoover doesn't do that though, which is funny. And I just leave it open a bit, and that gives us twenty seconds then to unload the machine. Oh wow, that's nice. You get a quick quick snapshot of that. I want to get a snapshot of it all stuck around the side. Okay, so let's unload this then. You know what, it's pretty damn dry. I love how this always comes out. It's like turn the bathrobe inside out. <laughs> Look at that, you can see the imprint of the drum on there. No, she's definitely smelling American now. Well, guys, I hope you lot have enjoyed that video as much as I did. Um, as I said, two more videos of this machine coming out. All cycles and options video, and then we'll wash the throw in her. Yet again with Tide HE again. Uh, we'll just see, yeah. Um, so yeah, it'll be something that will get the videos going, and then of course we start welcoming the new machines in. Even Millie will have her very last, well I know I said I'd never feature her on my channel again, but you know what, we'll do a last video on her. In fact, <clears throat> yeah, there's lots of, yeah, in fact we'll do Tide and her as well. And hopefully we'll get the A3060 going soon. I really do want to have that machine up and running. As I said, no, you know. But anyway. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed that, and of course, big shout out, shout out to uh, 80s music lover 18. He's called Harry Henshaw. He's uh, recently become a really good friend of mine. Loves the 80s, and he absolutely loves the Hot Point. He sat through on a video call with me once. Uh, we were just watching the machine. Um, <clears throat> he does a lot of funny YTPs, YouTube poops as they call them, and uh, he was going to do one of the Hot Point. Uh, sadly, his video edit editing software wouldn't let me. That's uh, why I wouldn't let him do it, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, so the, this video goes out to him as well because I just told him that um, he's over in Florida at the moment. Actually, lucky, lucky little jammy bleeder, isn't it? I don't know. He's lucky though. Town just fell over there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, thank you very much, much for that, guys. And um, yeah, looking forward to the next videos. Next video is going to be that Mullinex whisk there. Going to make some angel delight with that. And then we're going to bring out a um, another various appliances video. So I'll start filming some stuff for that. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow. Hey,